I got sick of curtains as closet doors, so I decided to make my own out of burlap. This is the outside of my closet. This is located in the hallway. As you can tell, this was supposed to be temporary, but it's been two years now and I need to do something about it. And the inside isn't any better. So I need to remove this board at the bottom because that piece of, I guess it's particle board that's laying on top. It's supposed to be like the flooring, but it's all warped. And I don't think the wood that's underneath is supporting it. So I'm not sure how secure that was, whoever built that, because those three boards are really easy just to kind of pull out. That one's actually attached to the board. I just need to remove this. But it looks like there's drywall all the way down to the bottom, so I just probably need to do some light patching and clean the floor. So I just want to let you know, if you don't know already, I am not a carpenter, so I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible for myself. So I just need two shelves that go all the way across and I'm going to try to create two smaller shelves so I could be able to fit my vacuums, so some taller objects. The closet is done and painted. I use Roman plaster by Bear for the color. I use scrap wood for the side supports. I'm trying to save money where I can. For the center supports, I bought two brackets at Lowe's for $6. This is pretty much the end result for this stage of the project. So I have a lot more room as you can tell. I was able to fit um, everything that was on that shelf and then some. So now I actually have a place to store my toilet paper and some toilet trees. should be a little less than 20 inches to accommodate the door hinges. This is why my doors are 19 and 3 fourths each. For the framing I use the 1x2s for the vertical sides of the door. I use the 1x3s for the um, horizontal supports. All I'm doing here is putting the frame together. I'm adding glue and clamping the frame together. Once dry I will use screws to secure the points I'm gluing. The door is done. I need to go back to Lowe's to pick up one more uh, one by three because I am short by a quarter of an inch. Since my pocket hole jig is still broken, I just use these wood screws to screw these in. And it's the same screws I use for the side supports right here. So I'm going to go to Lowe's, pick up the wood, and hopefully hang the doors to see if they hang properly. So the frame of the doors are done. Uh, I'm going to go in with the router because I'm going to hear um, fabric on here on the inside. An easy way to do it if you don't have a router is just put the fabric on the um, back, use a staple gun, staple it, and it's just as easy as that. You don't need to have the router. It's just You're going to notice it when you open the doors. You'll see the staples. And since I don't kind of want to see the staples, I'm going to try using a router. And then I'm going to put um, trim molding over it so you don't see the seams. I did to get my measurements over here. I used my ruler. I marked it at half an inch and I went all the way around the border for half an inch so I have a guide for my router. Then for the router, the settings I used were at one inch. The bit itself is a half inch straight. I started to cut the trim for the um, closet doors. I got quarter rounds. So if you get quarter rounds, the quarter rounds have two different sizes. One side is longer than the other. Um, unfortunately, when I cut, I wasn't paying attention. So when I was doing my cut, I was I was placing them where the short side would be. I was like, wait, no, I need the long side. So <laughs> now what I'm doing is, hopefully you can see here, 
it makes like a v-shape that's how i know okay this is the right angle this is the right size to lay down and i shade the part that needs to be cut i finished one door here it is i hung it all by myself and i was gonna get trim but i decided not to because eventually we're raising the ceiling in the hallway here So for the inside of the closet, I used two support brackets, um, one 2x12. I bought paint, train liner, and a half inch nap roller, which came out to a total of $61.90. For the doors, the lumber I used was four 1x2s, two 1x3s, the support studs were two 2x3s, and the total cost of the lumber was $84.28. For finishing touches, that was the magnetic catch, tub of caulking, wood filler, non-mortise hinges, door handles, and that cost me $41.86. The grand total for me was $188.04.